Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be discussing owls. For more facts on your favorite animals, be sure to subscribe to the channel. A group of owls is called a parliament, though it's not likely you'll typically find them hosting a session. Most owls are solitary creatures, with a few exceptions like burrowing owls. They can be found on every continent besides Antarctica, though I'm sure followers of the show may have already guessed that, and they live in a variety of habitats. While they're most abundant in forested locations, they can also be found in deserts, tundras, grasslands, rainforests, as well as urban and suburban areas. And if you're wondering why, if they're so widespread you've never seen one in the wild, there's actually an amalgamation of answers to your question. First and foremost, owls are primarily nocturnal or crepsecular creatures. They spend most of the day sleeping, hiding in hollows where other birds, hopefully, won't disturb them, and venturing out at night to begin their moonlit hunt. Their feather patterning of spots and speckles also helps them to blend into the environments they typically inhabit. Plus, they come in a range of colors that help them match their surroundings. It's not unusual for owls to appear red, white, brown, and even black toned with other colors blended in. Owls also have a special adaptation to their feathers that make them nearly silent during flight. While typical birds create a whooshing noise as they flap their wings, owl flight feathers are specifically designed with rough, comb-like edges on the front and extremely soft, downy plumage on the back so that their wing beats are nearly imperceptible. This makes sneaking up on prey a no-brainer for these bird brains. So with excellent camouflage, feathers designed to keep them stealthy, and a habit of being literal night owls, it's no wonder they're tough to spot in the wild. If you are lucky enough to catch sight of an owl, you may notice their unique facial anatomy. There are somewhere around 200 different species of owls, and they are split up into two families based on the structure of their face. Owls with heart-shaped faces, such as barn and bay owls, and owls who are commonly referred to as typical owls, so basically everyone else. Owl eyes are not shaped like human eyes, even though owls do possess binocular vision like a human being. They instead have tubular-shaped eyes that are unable to move within the head cavity, so they can't roll their eyes. This is where the owl's iconic head-turning ability comes into play. While they are not able to turn their heads a complete 360 degrees, as Hollywood might make you believe, they are able to turn up to 270 degrees from one side to another. Special adaptations such as double the amount of neck vertebrae as typical birds, meaning owls have 14, cushioning of the blood vessels from snappy turns, and blood collection and circulation for when head turning causes a loss of blood flow to the heart make these birds able to perform this seemingly otherworldly behavior. Definitely not something to try at home since we're lacking in all of those traits. Their faces are also relatively flat and this is to help enhance hearing. Owls have pretty unique ears in that most of them are not symmetrical. It's not unusual for one owl ear to be larger than the other, and it's even more common for their ears to be located at different heights on their heads. All of these off-balance quirks give owls pinpoint accuracy while hunting, with some species being able to detect minuscule prey from nearly half a mile away. Depending on the species, they eat insects, rodents such as mice and voles rabbits, other birds, including other owls, and even fish. Their talons are designed to lock in place, so when holding a prey item, they are not contracting their muscles. The idea of a bird being able to pick up a meal the size of Chester with a Loctite grip is pretty terrifying. What's more is that many will eat their food whole and regurgitate anything indigestible, such as fur, bones, and teeth, in the form of a pellet. So if you ever see something that looks like this in the woods, it's probably owl vomit. You're welcome. The smallest owl species is the elf owl, who usually weighs about one ounce and is about five inches long. The largest are debated to be either the great gray owl, the Eurasian eagle owl, and the Blakiston's fish owl, all who can reach lengths more than 30 inches. It's usually the smaller owl species that are predated by larger predators like foxes or even bigger owls though for the most part they top the food chain. Owl eggs are oddly spherical in shape, and mothers will lay eggs periodically over days as opposed to all at once. The eggs will not all hatch at the same time either, meaning the first to hatch will typically be the largest hatchlings in the nest. How long they can live seems to largely depend on the species. Usually, what will cause scarcity of owls in an area is not lack of food, but lack of suitable nesting sites, as these birds do not typically build their own nests and will instead move into abandoned nests left behind by other birds, such as hawks, their daytime counterparts. 
I can't blame them. Nest building seems like a lot of work. In mythology across the world, a dichotomy exists in owl symbolism. While some cultures view them as symbols of wisdom and prosperity, others see them as harbingers of death and a signal of bad luck. What do owls symbolize to you? You can learn a lot more about owls by checking out the links in the description. We hope this episode really got you into the Halloween spirit, even if you're watching it after Halloween. There's always room for Halloween spirit. Thank you so much for watching and give a thumbs up for more Animal Fact Files.